Hey everyone, Dave here, and welcome to Terra Alia Overview. So I got an early access to this one barely like few hours ago. It's always nice because it takes off the heat from me and not rush stuff at the release day. It essentially depends on the dev's response because there were instances I was getting that like one week earlier, two weeks earlier, or even one month after the actual appearance. <laughs> So Terra Alia is an educational adventure RPG game where you're being welcomed to the realm that blurred the lines between the technology, magic and language to experience the compelling educational escapade that transcends conventional learning paradigms. <laughs> Oof, that's a lot of fancy words. Using the gameplay that I'm very much 50-50 on it because I either hate it or love it. The whole gameplay scenario is very cool that I would call it a noun town on steroids because not only it's very interactive but it really teaches you usage of an actual words and phrases you'd hear in real life in a very conventional way that every gamer would appreciate. Having said that the visual aspect and the graphics and just all of the artistic assets are kind of in a gutter and it sucks because it's about the quality and the performance of it with pretty low frame rates going on the environments are very low quality just like the 360 used that when you turn your head it blinks for no reason pretty bad resolution scale in the distance like it's such a shame because it really has so much potential that it almost seems very plain but it needs more cooking in the oven. Thing is that this is relatively easy to change because this game seems to be more suitable for Quest 1 so there's definitely room for growth and I hope that the devs will update it along the way or just do a big overhaul of the visual aspect. I'll definitely be on the lookout of what's going on with this project Maybe we'll continue it, but it really depends on the schedule. The only thing I missed was the combat because I don't know when that happens, but definitely not in the beginning. But the concept very much speaks to me and I think it's overall very cool. It's just, it needs some work. <laughs> Let's go to the gameplay. Okay, so 360 is terrible. I've started one game like that the same before, I feel like. I feel like it was the Wizards. Full smooth lock on. Always good to see. What is going on? Okay. Where am I heading? Are we in Hogwarts? I mean, the textures aren't crazy. It's kind of like Quest 1 going a little bit to Quest 2, but still like early days of VR Whoa. I'm innocent The sand was still there but he was there <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
you finally made it. If I am not here to greet you in person, then my fears have proven true. You must listen to me carefully as your survival depends on it. Oh, that's a very heavy favorite rendering going on. But why? Like, this game should not be hard on the performance. Trust no one but my good companion, Falco. I see the two of you have already met. He will guide you. And go through walls. As you may have realized by now, your magic doesn't work here. I don't like this hologram. It's like very staticky. <laughs> As you may have realized, the language wards are suppressing your ability to evoke the Arcanum. You can use the Sunstone artifact to bypass the wards and channel the magical energies around you. But you will need to learn a new language to harness the artifact's power. You can discover new words by simply pointing at nearby objects. Go ahead and try it around my office. So this is a learning language application, or like a game. Arbre. Oh, that's a nice pronunciation. <laughs> they had the native for this. Arbra. Yeah, but mine is gutter. <laughs> Poubelle. Poubelle. Well, I mean, container is very broad <laughs> what do I know more I should know everything bureau what bureau oh come on not we're not doing that <laughs> I refuse <laughs> bureau I did not learn French to speak that way. <laughs> Chaise. Chaise. Bannière. Bannière. Batterie. Batterie. I mean, I love the concept. It's very similar to downtown, but this is more magical. <laughs> oh, a small test. Labre, la chaise, and la bibliothèque. What do I need to like? Is this some sort of a puzzle? How to go out? So what do I do? <laughs> ah, okay.
The crystal you are holding contains a fragment of my memory. It is one of seven. You will need to find all seven memory shards if you are to uncover the truth. I know it's a lot to ask of you, but you're the only one left I can trust. You should go now, before anyone finds you here. Look for the special book on the shelf. We can find those things around. But I know French, so it's fine. <laughs> I should choose something more challenging, but it's just for the sake of all of you. Tableau. Télécommande. Bureau. <laughs> Do I have some, like, missions and stuff? Oh, we have a full-on menu. Magical power. <laughs> it's like an RPG. Somehow. Disappear. <laughs> Livre. Livre. I don't know about this mechanic. Now we're going to catacombs, fighting skeletons and stuff. Oh shit, my ass <laughs> Bonne matinée. You don't really say that, but okay. Bonjour, ça va? Okay. I'll repeat the phrase. Bonjour, ça va? Wait, I'm also answering? Oh, in French. Ça va, merci. Um, that should be correct. Ça va très bien, merci. What? Ça va bien. I mean, I would appreciate if it would kind of like have solutions around certain phrases. Ça va bien, merci. Nice. <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go. I've seen this. I need this paper that I got. Or maybe in certain order. That's cute. <laughs> Spells. This is a lot. Well done. You were always a quick study. I will not be able to follow you once you leave. 
But we will meet again, Septimus. Find the blue tree in the old garden. Ew! This does not look good at all. It's like the concept is there, it's just the uh, execution could be way better. But it's like open world now. In the magical world. Perich romantic. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> I mean, the resolution is not good at all. Like, the distance is tragic. <laughs> Problem is, I would love this game to be good. I dig the mechanics and concept. But it needs like a heavy overhaul of... ...things you look. <laughs> So, I mean, I can just peruse around, but need to just accept quests and that's how you progress. Salut! Tu as un animal domestique? Tu as un animal domestique? Non, mais j'aime animaux. J'ai un chat et un chien. Oh, that was correct? I can't see the first one. J'ai un chat et un chien. Really? J'ai un chat et un chien. No, I know, but... J'ai un chat et un chien. Well, my pronunciation is gutter. Who knew? So far, I like the idea. I hate the execution. But it's going in the right direction, I feel like. If the devs will make some work around it. It's not because the visuals are cartoony and basic. It's just not pleasant to look at at all. Which is a bummer because the dialogues and the... Uh, like learning languages aspect is very cool. I would also love to see the combat. I'm assuming it's gonna be like a turn-based situation. I don't know when that will happen, but you kind of unlock spells by learning. <laughs> so concept, gameplay and dialogues are pretty cool. Graphics, complete gutter, but that might change, and I hope it will. <laughs> we might continue it further whenever I'll have the time and I'll fix it somewhere in the schedule. I'll definitely be on the lookout and see how it progresses over time. 